literally crackers tells me like dead ass like mad like look at me i'm talking to you don't look at her look at me when i'm talking to you i was like hey girlies welcome back to another video so today i'm doing a get ready with me story time about the time i got fired which was yesterday okay so yesterday was my last day at this job i'm not gonna mention names i'm not gonna mention the the business or anything blah 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 whatever so let me tell you guys what happened and how i got fired for not doing somebody else's job yes i know so let me start off from the beginning you know like i started working in this job if i like like look down you guys it's because i have my palette and all this other stuff right here so <clears throat> excuse me so let's start off from the beginning Right, so I started working at this job. I started working at this job like three months ago, right? And I was supposed to get hired on on the 21st because I started working through an agency. So I originally had to do, I was in charge of um, getting sales uh, for the company and also do some office work, like some admin assistant work. So that, those were my, that, that was my job, right? So this they were like a small business that was just starting to bloom and they didn't have their shit together because they were just growing and they were trying to figure out who's staying who's leaving who they're gonna get rid of blah 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 right so this this company was a mess you guys like they they were all over the place so i started working there and um i realized like how they just started piling things on to like all of us right and I get, I get it, like it's our job, you know, to do what we're supposed to be doing there. So I would try to catch up with everything that they would give me. And um, the only problem was that they hired on like a temporary CEO. So this guy had like a whole plan. Like he had like a whole plan um, for the sales and marketing team, right? Which is a good thing for every company and, and I had nothing to complain about that. But what got me like a little riled up was that this guy was rude to me. Um, I don't know if it was a race thing. I was the only Mexican person working there. Everybody else was white race. So I don't know if it was a race thing or, or he just didn't like me or whatever the case was. But um, this guy, one time, let me tell you guys what started happening when this guy got there. He had a whole plan for the sales and marketing team, right? Which is good. And the only problem is that I couldn't focus fully on the marketing team because I was also doing office work. And my manager would throw that work at me at any time of the day. Like any time, like I would literally be working on something, like talking to a customer or something. And I'm not gonna say her name, but let's say Cheese. <laughs> let's call her Cheese. Cheese, she would come and, and just hand me something at any time of the day. Like, I'd be working on on something with the customer. And she would be like, oh, can you pull out the shipping website or blah, 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 blah. And I'd be like, bro, like, <laughs> she wouldn't even ask me, are you busy? Are you do working on something? No, she would just, because I was in charge of helping her with office work, she would just assume that it was okay to come and shove stuff in my face. So she would do that, like at any time of the day and I didn't really complain much because I'm like okay well it's my job to do you know some office work so like I, I didn't complain about it but it was still wrong of her to be like throwing that stuff at me without asking like hey are you busy or, or are you working on anything you know so that happened right that's how things were for a while um then I kind of complained and I talked to the sales and marketing coach that we had Let's call him Crackers. So my manager is Cheese and this one is called Crackers. So this was a hired on CEO. He wasn't the owner of the company. They just hired him because the owner had to be home taking care of her husband. I don't know what the deal was. But um, that's another story. I'll tell you guys about the owner right now. So Crackers, <laughs> I complained to him because he, was, he had just got there and he was in charge of the sales and marketing team and I was part of it. So I told him like, Hey crackers, you know, I I would like to focus on the sales and stuff, but it's kind of hard for me um, because I have to also focus on office work. So like I can't get all these sales that you're expecting for me to get in a day because 
I'm not focused on everything. Like I'm multitasking every single day. Um, I have admin assistant work that's thrown at me throughout the whole day. And then I have your sales where I have to like talk to customers, answer phone calls at the same time, look for prices. It was a whole, whole, whole mess. It was a whole process, a whole thing. And honestly, I feel like I should have just been hired on as a sales and marketing person, not mix with admin assistant because it's hard to focus on both at the same time because customers ask questions they you know they like their whole other thing and not to mention that these were like high-end things that we were selling like these were people that wanted their shit 100 percent perfect everybody does but these people were you know they were they were very serious about getting their things exactly how they wanted them so that's what happened and i talked to crackers and i told i told him because it's a him I told him, like, I don't feel comfortable doing all this stuff at the same time, right? Um, I would like to just focus on, on, on sales. So, Crackers got a little um, um, understanding, you know? So, he, he uh, went to go talk to Cheese and to the CEO. And they talked about, you know, the situation, how I felt about it, blah, 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 blah. So we decided that I was going to be working on admin assistant work from like 9 because I went in at 9. 9 to 1 and then from 1 to 5 I was going to focus on sales. You guys, it was a mess. It was impossible to do that. Like it was impossible. Like I'm telling you like admin assistant work would come in throughout the whole day. Throughout the whole day. So it was impossible for me to do that. So I just had to figure out on my own like how to multitask or how to like like arrange things to be done so that they can get done so it was very complicated you know and every time i like mentioned it to cheese my manager she would be like she would be like oh well it was done before so like it can still be done now like the girl that was here before you used to take care of all this stuff and even more things and like it has to be done so like they didn't give a shit basically the other girl quit obviously because it was just too much work for her apparently that's what i heard so yeah like it was a lot of pressure and it was hard so that's what she's told me and i was like okay like whatever right before i mentioned to her i was like before you guys didn't have this many sales so it, it wasn't that complicated for this person to do all these tasks because there wasn't that many sales right they didn't like that i complained about that stuff right now let me tell you guys the first week this was my first red flag the first week that i worked with them they told me that i was gonna work monday through thursday and then on the weekends so i assumed because a normal job you guys know they will pay you when you work hours right or when you do overtime so these people told us that we work monday through friday monday to thursday at the office and friday saturday sunday at home so I assumed that I was going to get paid for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Um, they made us download this like phone app, this like the emails so we can get them to our phones. You guys, I did not get paid anything for working the overtime during the weekend just for one day. It just counted for, we just got paid for one day and worked the three days. So I was like, what? Like, you know, like... I was so upset because I was like, I spent the whole day in my house th that weekend and I assumed that I was supposed to be near, you know, the phone, near my, my spreadsheets because I didn't know anything, like the prices or anything. So I assumed, shit, I have to be home and I have to be, I have to be on top of it because if people call, like I have to answer, blah, 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 right? Get sales. So um, I stayed home the whole weekend from 9 to 5, Friday, Saturday, Sunday answering phone calls and and emails and sometimes there wouldn't be a lot of phone calls or emails but the point is i was still under working hours so i go in on monday and i was excited because i was like shit i'm gonna get a fat check right well no i was wrong cheese told me no like you guys work the weekend just to make up for the 40 hours of the full week so basically just to make up for the friday that we don't go in because we work monday to thursday so i was like so you're telling me that I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday and stayed home from 9 to 5 and didn't get paid? What? So she's like, yeah, pretty much. You're going to get your 40 hours. Well. I was like, um, no. So I automatically told her like, hey, like, I don't like that we're going to be working the whole weekend just to get paid for one day. She's like, well, that's kind of making up for it, like, because you don't get a lot of calls and, and blah, blah, blah. 
And I'm like, yeah, but um, that still wastes my time during the day. I could be doing other stuff. She's like, well, she's like, well, you can do other things. I do this all the time. She's like, you can go um, out to dinner or whatever the case is, whatever you're doing. And you can be answering the calls or, or, or answering emails whenever you can throughout the day. I was like, but I'm not getting paid for it. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. So I just, I told her, like, I don't agree with that. I feel like we should at least work one day on the weekend to make up for that one day on the weekend for Friday, right? So we came to an agreement. She talked to the CEO and she was like, okay, fine. Like, that sounds fair. So myself and my other coworker um, only worked Friday and Saturday. Like, we will take turns. Like, one week, I'll, week fr I'll work Friday. The next week, she'll work Friday and me Saturday or like that, right? So that's what we were doing. So that was great. But then, <laughs> then they started piling on more duties and tasks that we had to do throughout the week, like blogs and all these things. And I get that this was a part of the things that I'm supposed to be doing, but where was the time for me to be doing these things is what I wanted to know. Because they kept pile, piling on like duties and stuff when there was no time, like the calls ring off the hook there's emails all the time to answer and they were just micromanaging everything you guys everything like they wanted to they would tell you like it only takes like five to ten minutes to answer an email or something and i'm like no because sometimes people ask for more than one price so we have to be looking into the price sheet because we don't have that shit memorized we have to look into our price sheet and then enter the price you know so that's what was upsetting me that they were just micromanaging everything everything one time, what did I call him? Crackers? Cra I stopped doing my makeup. <laughs> I'm so into it. One time Crackers, and this was recent, this is like two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Crackers was talking to me in the office in front of Cheese, right? He didn't pull me away or anything, right? Like he was talking to me in front of her. So he wanted to know what what can we do that's that will better help me, like that would help me to do my job better basically. Like, what can they do? How can we, like, separate the times? Blah, blah, blah. This was the second time we talked about that, by the way. And I was like, well, it's impossible because I keep getting Cheese's work throughout the day and I can't focus on sales. Like, how? You know? They expected me to get this um, almost close to the same amount as my coworker was when she was just focusing on only sales and I was doing two things, more than two things at the same time. So we talked about the issue, right? Like how it's just hard, blah, blah, blah. I would like to just focus on one thing, whatever, whatever. Crackers got upset because I looked to the side. Like, so Cheese was over here. Crackers was right in front of me. And I looked to the side because Cheese moved, you know? Like she turned around to see what we were talking about. And literally Crackers tells me like dead ass, like mad, like, Look at me, I'm talking to you. Don't look at her. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I was like, squeeze me? <laughs> squeeze me. <laughs> so I stared at him in disbelief to what he just told me in front of Cheese. And you know, I have a very bad temper. So I tried so hard not to say things that I was not supposed to say because I was like, you know what? No, no. I'm not gonna let these people get to me, right? So I was upset and I didn't say anything because I was so upset that I knew I was going to explode if I said anything. So I let him talk, whatever. Okay. So he left to a meeting after the conversation we had, right? And after that situation. So after he <laughs> left to the meeting, I thought to myself while I was doing my work because I was furious. I was like, I'm going to calm down. I'm going to get it together. And as soon as cracker crackers <laughs> is out of his meeting i'm gonna tell him can i speak to you privately uh, something in my eye so after he gets out i'm gonna speak to him privately and, and and i'm gonna you know tell him how he made me feel uncomfortable he comes out of his meeting and i'm like hey crackers can i can i speak to you for a minute like do you have a minute and he's like yeah sure I take him outside and I tell him, I understand everything that you told me, 
by the way, I didn't mention this, but he in the conversation he didn't mention because some emails weren't answered on Monday. This was Tuesday. His emails weren't the emails from customers were not answered on Monday. So he was upset because those are potential sales. And I get that. Like I'd be mad too, right? Um, it's his job to tell us that you know what we have to do, and it's his job to coach us because he's a sales and marketing coach. So I understood why he was upset about that, and I get it. I'd be too. So I was like, like, okay, so those, my excuse was those emails weren't answered because we were so busy on Monday, right? And the reason why I looked at Cheese when we were having a conversation, not only because she moved, but I was expecting for her to say and mention that Monday was so busy when, when he wanted us to answer the emails. And I get it, whatever, um, we should have made time for those emails in the morning, first thing in the morning. I get it. So he was upset and I took him out. I'm, I took him out. I told him, can I speak to you for a second? We went outside and I told him, look, I understand everything that you told me. I understand that you want me, you want me to, to, you know, answer the phone calls for the, the phone calls. Answer the emails first thing in the morning at me and my coworker. And I understand that. I get why you're upset. I, I agree with everything you said that had to do with us working and, and making time, right? I told him, I know that your job is to make sure that we get better at our job. I made him know that I understood everything he said and I agreed. I, I did, I agreed with everything. And I honestly wanted to get better at, at what they were teaching me because that was gonna help me and benefit me in the future with another job or with my own businesses. So I took everything into consideration. Everything that he mentioned, I made notes in my head. So. I made sure he knew that I agreed with everything he said, but I told him, I just thought it was very rude and disrespectful how you told me not to look at her at cheese to look at you when you're talking to me. I thought that that was rude and disrespectful. And then he started saying, well, imagine if the CEO would have, you know, seeing that those emails weren't answered she was gonna like flip blah, blah 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 because the ceo she was you guys when she would get mad she would scream and she didn't give a damn who she was talking to it was very very unprofessional she didn't do it to me thank god because i would have been like excuse me but um i i heard her doing it so so yeah like he was right yeah if she would have you know seen that she would have been furious but that wasn't the point of the conversation i was having with him right now I told him, I get it, I know she would have been pissed, but like I said, I agree with everything that you said, but I thought it was very rude, disrespectful, and I didn't like the way you talked to me. And he was just like, he's just like, well, I'm sorry, like, you took it that way because it wasn't even intended for you to, like, take it that way, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, of course I took it that way. I thought it was offensive, it was rude, disrespectful, and unprofessional. I told him, so I would like for you to not do that ever again. If you need to talk to me, you can tell me, hey, Emily, do you have a second and talk to me in a different room or outside? But you are not going to tell me to look at you and talk to you in front of Cheese because Cheese was in there. Like, you could have pulled me away to talk to me separately instead of talking to me in front of her because that gives me the chance to look at her or or try to mention her into the com like bring her into the conversation because she's there and i assume that this is like a little meeting or a conversation for us three when we're all in the same room right so that happened and he's like i apologize he apologized for it and thank you for telling me blah blah blah, blah. it was very awkward and i know that that upset him because after that he was just weird with me for the rest of the days that i was there he was just um very dry okay so after that incident the ceo the ceo she had told me during like christmas um vacation we didn't get vacation we worked during christmas days even on christmas eve and new year's eve so well i didn't work christmas eve because i told them i wasn't gonna come in but i worked new year's eve and even them like like the CEO like she told us like she gave us like a list of things to do right so in one of those things there was checking inventory and I, I didn't agree to that when when I saw it I was like I'm not gonna go to the back and check inventory because that's that's the guys in the back's job like the warehouse manager he has to get somebody to do that you know 
Like, I literally was only hired on there to do admin assistant work, spreadsheets, sales and marketing, office work. So, yeah, like, I put my foot down and I didn't do it, right? And I didn't say anything because I didn't know how to come about it. I didn't know how to say anything about it. So, I was trying to figure out my words, of how to bring it up without sounding like, oh, I don't want to do my job. Or, not my job, but like, I don't want to do that job. You get me? So I didn't say anything, I went on with my days and did my other jobs, whatever, whatever, right? I didn't end up doing that inventory sheet stuff, right? So the day that I got fired, which was yesterday, Cheese, throughout the day, was mentioning up the, the spreadsheet, right? Like the, the inventory sheet. And I was busy with customers that I had, like that I was working on getting sales from. and. Keep in mind that in every sales meeting we had every week, that was the number one thing. Like, like I was not reaching my goal with the stuff I was supposed to sell because I didn't have time because I was doing other things. I didn't have time to catch up with all the customers. Only on the week day that I, the weekend day that I got, got to work at home. But that wasn't enough, you know, to get somebody to buy like a high-end product. So, or high-end thing, but I call it product. So yeah, so Cheese was like, oh, like, let me know if you need any help, like, doing, like, the stuff, like, with the inventory. These things were spread throughout the warehouse, you guys. Like, they were all over the place. I didn't even know what these things actually looked like. I didn't even know which colors were what, you get me? So I, she literally, Cheese wanted me to look at the website on my phone and figure out which one was which. Yeah, so... I went to the back yesterday in the morning and I started doing the first two and I was like, no, like, no, like, this is not my job. Like, this is not my job. If I felt uncomfortable doing it because first of all, the warehouse was cold. I was in these like nice like boots that, you know, like you'd wear to like a normal job, you know, when you're dressed nice or, or something. Um, third of all, like it, it just was not my job to do that right so I go back in the office and I tell cheese I'm like hey cheese like like this isn't even my job like why am I even doing this she's like well so and so in the back didn't want to like do it so like somebody has to do it and I was like why does that somebody have to be me I don't see anybody sending my co-worker I don't see anybody sending somebody else from the warehouse to do it because the manager doesn't want to do it in the back like I don't see anybody else but the fingers pointed at me and even crackers tried telling me yesterday in our sales meeting that that was my job I don't know if it's because of my race <laughs> that they expected for me to just do all this work for them like just like that I don't know what the deal was or or I don't know I don't know but that's just my first guess because you guys know like those of you that are Latinas and stuff, like, you guys know, you get that gut feeling when somebody is doing something because of whether it's color or whatever the case is. I guess they thought that I was dumb enough to just, like, go and do that job for them when they could have gotten somebody else in the warehouse to do it. So I played dumb after going those two times to go look for that one, those two things, and I wasn't going to do it. And I was trying to figure out throughout the whole day, how am I going to tell them that I'm not going to do this because it's not my job? So I made sure that it wasn't my job to do that because I wanted to have some type of backup. So I called the agency that I work for outside and I was like, hey, so-and-so, let's call her Flower because she's really nice. I was like, hey, Flower, like these people are making me do this and I don't feel comfortable with it because first of all, it's not in my job description. And I was like, like, I want to know if you agree with the situation. Like, I told her everything, and she's like, no. She's like, I don't want you to do anything if you're uncomfortable. She's like, um, that is not your job description, blah, 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 right? So I felt secure because I was like, okay, good. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm not I'm not even being lazy. I wouldn't even mind doing the work. It's just it's not my job description. I'm not getting paid to be in the back. I'm not doing none of that stuff, right? So, um, yeah, I told Cheese. I told her, I was like, hey, like, I don't feel comfortable doing the, the inventory list. She's like, it's fine, I'll do it. Like, she didn't even give me a chance to say why, you know, how I felt about it exactly or anything. She was just like, fine, I'll do it. I was like, okay, cool, right? I knew from that moment on that whether I was going to get fired, 
at, which I wasn't worried about, whether I was gonna get fired or just get screamed at by the CEO, and I was waiting for that moment, honestly. But yeah, she goes out of the office and she comes back in. She's like, give me the list when you can, Emily. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I grabbed my list. I walked up to her. I gave her the list. I came back to my desk. Like, it's not my fault that somebody's responsibility, like, wasn't done. And I don't get why they took it out on me when it was somebody else's job to do that. Like, they should have fired that person. Yeah, they should have fired that person. Not me for not doing their job. Anyways, that happened and Cracker came out of his meeting and they went to go talk about it in another room, blah, blah, blah. They took like two hours talking about it. I knew they were going to end up like firing me or talking about something, whatever, whatever. So they come back in all like, you know, upset. They come back in and they're just like, hey, um, Cracker's like, hey, Emily, can I, can I speak to you? Like, I turn around and he's like, this is going to be the last day you, you're working here with us. I was like okay i literally just told him okay i don't know what kind of reaction he was expecting because he just like stared at me for like a good minute waiting for my reaction or something i was like okay and of course when somebody when somebody does something that's unfair to you you get pissed and i was pissed i don't care that i got fired i was just pissed because of the situation of why i got fired and because it was impulsive of them so I started turning red out of anger, wanting to tell them a lot of things. <laughs> but I kept it together. I didn't say anything rude or anything. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just going to hear what they have to say. So they just tried pulling the card where you're a good person, blah, blah, blah. Like, we enjoyed working with you, this, this, and that. Um, but then they started saying stuff like, so what made you think, like, um, Cracker was like, what made you think you didn't uh, have to do that job, blah, 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 blah. And I told him, like, that's not in my job description. He's like, it is if the CEO is telling you to do it. And I'm like, no, I work for the agency still. You guys have not hired me officially yet. So I do what's in my job description. And um, he got upset or whatever. And he's like, who told you that that was your job description? I was like, Flowers. I spoke to Flowers earlier and I asked her and I made sure I had my facts straight before I told you guys I'm not comfortable doing this, right? So he's like, and what makes Flower think she can bring her nose into these things? I was like, bruh, <laughs> you know? And I was like, well, I was hired by Flowers and them. So I, you know, that's my job description. And if it's not in it, then no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, so yeah, that happened and it was just a whole thing and I didn't get into it. I didn't argue with them. I didn't fight with them. I just left on good terms, sort of. Like, I gave them the things that they needed in case they, like, uh, needed something later on. I just told them all of my passwords and blah, 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 blah. And I walked out of there, you know, like nothing. Okay, cool. Upset, like mad, of course, but like nothing. Like, they like to micromanage a lot, you guys. Like, they wanted you to be doing something at every minute of the day and i get it like nobody wants to waste time like on lazy ass workers like you need somebody that's gonna be doing their job right but like they micromanage every single like minute or second of the day i was like holy crap you know but i mean it is what it is i i wanted to work so i didn't just want to be home yeah you guys i'm honestly glad that i'm out of this place because i had been thinking about quitting since the longest like since after the first month I was there. After I saw how they were and how they like, oh crap, what am I doing? <laughs> I was already putting mascara on. After I noticed like how they were and how they like treated people, like I wanted out. Like I realized that and I was like, you know what? Like this is not gonna be for me. Like these people, they're toxic. Like they're so toxic. So I had already thought about it and I was like, you know what? Like I'm not staying here. Hold on, I got like the wrong color. I thought to myself, like, I'm not staying here. I don't even have to be working right now. Like, you know? So, I had decided I was going to leave that job long before I even got fired. All I had to do was make the move, but they did it for me before I could have done it. I noticed how they micromanaged. I noticed how they, like, how they, how they did people dirty, you know? So, I was like, you know what? Like, this ain't going to be for me. Like, I'm replaceable there. Like, I could... Like, I know that they could fire me at any second, any day, any hour. So, I was aware of that and and whatever. But, yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm not in that job anymore. Because, to be honest, like, it was a big toll. Like, like it was very toxic for me to be in that place. Like, it was affecting 
it was affecting me a lot like when it came to filming my videos and everything like I didn't have a problem when I started working there in the beginning because they knew that I made videos and I was on social media so I wouldn't be surprised if they see this video so hi cheese and crackers <laughs> um but yeah like they knew I had some social media stuff going on and they followed me and everything but yeah like it was very toxic it was getting in the way of me filming because I used to film in the morning, you guys, like, before I started to to go to work. Like, before I drove off to work, I would film my makeup videos and post them on Instagram or save them and then schedule for them to post. Um, and that's how I was doing it in the beginning. But, you guys, like, it became so toxic in this place, like, because they just wanted everything so perfect. The pressure was just so much that I was lacking, like, so bad on my business and my businesses and on on my social media stuff, like my videos. So I, w I was talking to my dude and I was telling him like, hey, like this is taking like a big toll on me. Like I don't even wanna be working for these people anymore. Like I don't like it, I don't like their vibe. Like they had very negative like vibes, you know? And like Cheese was cool and everything, but I just didn't like that. Like she was like, she could be a little two-faced sometimes, you know? Like she'll be talking to you all nice and she'll be th saying things behind her back and I know because the walls were very thin there so I could hear I could hear everything they were saying I didn't even know but anyways okay sorry I got a message <laughs> so I really really love my co-worker because she was very very nice like super nice the happiest person in the room all the time I felt so bad for her because even she felt burnt out like they made her she got so burnt out that she started crying in our sales meeting last week so yeah, like it was so bad, but let's let's call her I like the color pink. Let's call her pink because she's very nice and she was very like loud and, and cool. So pink. Pink, they like made her cry and stuff and it was just so messed up because she was under like so much pressure too, you know? Um but yeah, like you guys, I'm so glad I'm out of this job because now I can actually focus on my goals more. And I can focus on on other things that I want to do in life, you know, apart from, like, working for someone. I honestly just got that job to... What is it called? I honestly just got that job because I wanted fun money. Like, I wanted to have that extra stable income just to, like, oh, eat out somewhere or... Uh, like, not eat out, but get takeout because you guys know all the crazy shit that's going on. But um, I wanted that money for like fun money, you know, like to order things for my business or or to like order things for like clothing or whatever the case was. It was just fun money. Like I didn't really have to work. I just thought it was like so funny because I know it was impulsive and knowing cheese that she like likes everything to be fair for people. I know damn well that she's going to feel so guilty for getting me fired over an impulsive like anger like issue like that she had over me not doing the inventory I know it's gonna eat her up inside because she knows that I was I really did carry a lot of stuff for her there like I did a lot of stuff for her there and then she tried saying to you guys like she tried saying that oh like you either way you couldn't really catch up with the work <laughs> You couldn't do things like like on time or fast enough or whatever the case was and I was like bruh <laughs> like shut the fuck up because <laughs> I carried like almost everything like for her like all her all her work got sent like to me like everything that she was supposed to be doing I was taking care of her most of the time like shipping things out like writing up shipping orders calling them in um spreadsheet work sometimes calling people for her, entering orders for her. Like, I did all that stuff when it was, like, her job. So, not only that, but, like, crackers would be like, oh, like, if you, if you don't finish, like, your work during the day, like, you can always stay later or come in earlier. And I'm like, bruh, like, no, like, I'm not gonna be a slave to your, your place, like, I'm not gonna be a, a slave to you guys. Like, I have to be out of my job at five because I gotta cook for my family at home or I gotta film or I got other shit to do, you know? But they expect it for me to, like, stay later or come in earlier sometimes. 
Like, no. No, 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 that's not how it works. So, yeah, you guys, I don't plan on liking for, like, another job right now. I just got really upset that I couldn't tell them exactly what I wanted to tell them. Because I was not going to give them that satisfaction to see me, like, pissed. And actually see my wrath or fury or whatever you call it. So I was like, you know what, nah. Y'all can keep your shitty ass job anyways. I can guarantee you that the next person that they get is not going to perform the way that they want them to either. That's too much pressure for everybody. Like, too much pressure. But yeah, I'm... Let's see, I'm going to put on these lashes right here, these bad boys. Put on some mascara. So yeah, guys, that is a crazy -ass story of how I got fired yesterday. <laughs> I got fired and and yeah and today like the agency like flower is supposed to call me and tell me like what happened because right away when I was right away when I got out of that place like I called flower and I was telling her like hey like they just fired me because she told me after our phone call yesterday she's like if you feel uncomfortable and you want to leave tell me and it'll be okay so I should have called her and told her hey I feel uncomfortable I'm, I'm like leaving or something but I didn't. I waited to see what they were going to tell me because I know they were going to tell me something. So I waited to see what they were going to tell me and yeah, like they fired me. And I called her and I was like, hey, like they literally just fired me right now. After like this whole like situation. And then I told her like all the other situations that I had with them, like the issues. So that she knew, you know, the type of people that they were and what they were going to tell her about me because I knew. I knew that they were going to try to tell her that I was slow or some shit like to make me look bad, you know? But I was like, nah, bitch, like, I'm gonna get to flower first and I'm gonna tell her how things really are here. And I'm proud and I'm happy that I put my foot down and I didn't let these people take advantage of, like, my potential because, or my mental health because they were very toxic. So I'm kind of happy that I didn't let them, you know, get to me, like, too much. Like, the old me would have. Like, I know that the old me would have, like, let myself and would have like gone over there and done exactly what they wanted me to do all the time and you know but no like i'm not that person anymore like i'm not gonna let these people stomp on me like they really privileged like everybody else before like me or like my co-workers sometimes like it was so messed up when we were the ones like getting you know some sales and and um doing a lot of shit for them you know so that's probably like what got me upset like the most that like we had like i had no like privilege there like at all like whatsoever like everybody else did like they were so worried about how everybody else felt they never really like gave a shit about how i felt or like my coworker. like they literally saw us as just making excuses you know like but anyways <clears throat> yeah like this happened and i was like holy crap like never again you know like i'm never again gonna be like working with like people like this like that's, that's just crazy i have never had a job like this before like where we were being micromanaged like throughout every single second of the day like i've never had a job that did that to me like throughout the whole day you know and i'm not saying that just because i know that some of you guys are probably gonna be like oh well you want to like probably do whatever you want throughout the job that's why <laughs> But no, I mean, like, you know, it's it's different. It's a different feeling when you're working and you're doing things on your own without somebody behind your ear, just you know, behind you, just watching every single step of the way. Like, it's different when you're working on your own. You're more relaxed, calm, and collected, and you get shit done because you're working on your own. But when you have somebody behind you, like, telling you, like, hey, like, did you do this already? Hey, why aren't you doing this like this? Or blah, 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 blah. And not only that, but we were getting... We were getting different things from like three different people we were getting it from cheese crackers and the ceo like one person would tell us do things this way the other person would tell us do things that way and the other one would be like do them this way so like there was no organization like in that place so like they were just so unorganized so like yeah like i'm so glad i'm out of that job and i have time to focus on like the real things here and not only that you guys like cheese really told me cheese really told me before i walked out like I'm still following you, you know, like on social media or whatever, and good luck with your makeup and your business. She's like, what did she tell me? 
I know that this this was not a very I saw the shadiness behind it I guess you know she was like oh like I, I will I will be following you blah 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 and and I'll be there to see you when you become a millionaire one day like bitch I am gonna be a millionaire one day like you'll see <laughs> but still like the way she said it you know like I I saw the 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 like shady thing behind it you know but anyways I don't even like want to bother talking about these people anymore because like they were so toxic and I'm so glad that these people are not in my life anymore even if it was just a job you know so I'm glad but anyways you guys I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to hear like the whole, whole thing but if you made it this far comment down below <laughs> cheese and crackers if you made it this far throughout the video comment cheese and crackers down below so I know you're a real one you sat here and listened to what I had to say and you know you understood the whole story and what went down just comment cheese and crackers and we'll have a laugh about it later <laughs> but yeah you guys don't forget to like this video comment down below like I said follow me on Instagram you know subscribe subscribe because your girl needs you guys here if you guys like my story times I can do more of these videos I have so many <laughs> so many but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.